Look, Fox News is always going to Fox News. Right, so number one, she has not had a record exploited heavily because people thought and marginalized her. Uh, even in the Democratic Party, they said, wow, what a bad choice Joe Biden made. Number two is uh, she hasn't sat down for an interview. When she sits down in an interview and says, do you want to uh, defund ICE? Where do you stand on uh, Medicare for all? Where, why didn't you show up? The most recent decision, already you got a question. She will not show up for the prime minister's uh, joint session of Congress today. She'd rather address in the summer a sorority, a college sorority, like she can't get out of that. That was the network's Brian Kilmeade speaking on Madam Vice President Kamala Harris, but it wouldn't stop there. Yeah, and then there's the DEI press secretary telling you that the DEI vice president is the future of the party here. And so the future looks kind of dim for the Democrats here, but this is no shocker either. Kamala Harris, she's the original hawk to a girl. That's the way she got where she is. And uh, the party's going downhill if it's in her hands. That was tough. That yeah, was that, that was, was, really was that was harsh. The pick me please proud boy that you just saw on your screens is podcaster Alec Lakes. Now, we're going to get into... Lace's stuff in a moment, but if one has been living under a rock. <laughs> you gotta answer this, you got it. What's one move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk to and spit on that thing, you get me? This was Lace's reference. He would then double down on Twitter, writing, and I quote, did I go too far on Fox News calling Kamala Harris the OG hawk to a girl, or am I right over the target? All right, so let's get into this. Um, ESPN's NFL analyst, Ryan Clark, Super Bowl winner in the league, host of the Pivot podcast, would give no Fs and write this. These dudes are really some Bs these days, but hey, they'll let them say anything about a black woman. Who cares that she's vice president of the country they live in? Disgusting. Let me go ahead and sign off. Of course, Lace is not alone. The only reason Kamala is in the White House is because of the DEI deal Biden cut with Bernie to seal the nomination. And of course, her whole history is DEI, diversity, uh, exclusion, and uh, equity. Intellectually, just really kind of the bottom of the barrel. I think she was a DEI hire. She would be the queen of DEI if she were elected. She is DEI. Are you suggesting she's D she was a DEI hire? 100%. She was a DEI hire. This focus on DEI is, of course, just one of the many conservative attacks on Vice President Harris. But these racially charged comments have gotten so bad that House Republican leadership has stepped forward to tell its own members to basically knock it off and instead focus on Vice President Harris's record and not on her race and gender. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again, Simone. When you have to send a memo saying stop being racist, it's a good indicator that you're a racist. In a shocking turn, Lace tried once more and he failed. He tripped over himself. Since this video has gone viral, let me clarify two things. One, this originally aired on July 5th prior to President Joe Biden stepping aside. Number two, comparing Donald Trump to the big H is dangerous and a hundred times worse than comparing Kamala Harris to the hawk to a girl. So save me your fake outrage. Okay. I'm going to treat this with kid gloves. Let's go in order here. First, the hawk to a girl viral moment was on June 11th. So you thought about this prior to going on. Whether Joe Biden stepped aside or not is completely irrelevant. Oh, this happened before he decided to take a step back. Doesn't matter. It's my baby crying. Doesn't matter. We have a babysitter, don't worry. So I guess I'm just a little curious because his clip aired on July 23rd. What does one have to do with the other? The answer is it doesn't. It's just a purely stupid point from a purely stupid person. He then adds that comparing the former president to the big H is a hundred times worse than him using a sexually explicit mantra to describe the current vice president of the United States. So it may be time to have a chat with not the left, but the right, because Alec, let's go back in time 
to the Republicans vice president to Donald Trump, J.D. Vance. The portrayals, unfortunately for Lace, are rather accurate. In the year 1990, Vanity Fair wrote his ex-wife Ivana, who, as we know, was buried on one of Donald Trump's golf courses in order for him to save a few bucks. Ivana Trump told her lawyer, Michael Kennedy, that from time to time, her husband reads a book of the Big H's collective speeches, My New Order, which he keeps in a cabinet by his bed. Oh, that's revealing. Then there's the horror stories of this man you see on your screens, ex-chief of staff, John Kelly. And I have to tell you, when General John Kelly told me the story of Trump's praise for Hitler, here's John Kelly, he's a retired Marine general, yeah. served in the military for more than four decades, is a gold star mm -hmm. father, yeah. he lost his son in combat mm -hmm. in Afghanistan, and, and he told me, I, I, he would sit across from the president at the time, praising Hitler, praising Hitler's generals yep. for being loyal to him, mm -hmm. and, and he would be flabbergasted that he has to remind Trump, the president of the United States, what yeah. Hitler did. I mean, he said to me, Kelly said to me, he said, I can't believe he forgot the Holocaust. There was also the time Donald Trump referred to his political opponents as vermin and spoke of illegal immigrants with the following line, quote, they are poisoning the blood of our country. He would follow that up within his own words. This quote, they said the Big H said that. Then from ABC, after insisting the Big H used the words in a much different way, Trump went on to make the blood reference again. It's true. They're destroying the blood of the country, he would say. They're destroying the fabric of our country, and we're going to have to get them out. In other words, Trump's response when criticized for using the big H's language was to acknowledge the criticism and then to double down and use it again. These are not unfair critiques. Mr. Lace, they are actually warranted. He employed Sebastian Gorka in his cabinet per three people that spoke with NBC News when they traveled to Hungary, specifically where Gorka is from. They found that Gorka was a member of Vitezi Rend. During the war, the State Department listed Vitezi Rend among a group of organizations under the direction of the Schmazis in Germany. Very revealing again. Trump also employed... Stephen Miller, who had emails uncovered by the Southern Poverty Law Center showing his promotion of white nationalist literature, pushing racist immigration stories, and obsessing over the loss of Confederate symbols after a murderous rampage. Tell me again which one is worse, Mr. Lace. If you can and are willing, please become a paid member here at TYT Sports. And or go to tyt.com slash join. In addition, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Appreciate it. Have a great day.